I give the floor to the Americans for Democracy and, and Human Rights in Bahrain, Incorporated. Uh, Madam Vice President, American for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain, in coordination with Bahrain Institute for Rights and Democracy and the Bahrain Center for Human Rights, would like to bring to the Council attention certain cases of religious intolerance and discrimination in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Bahrain exclusionary labor practice against Shia, particularly regarding the security forces. The escalation of the Shia Islamic Scholar Council and the harassment of leading Shia religious figures in the country stand in opposition to Section 2, Paragraph 46, 46 and 49 of the Durban Declaration and Program of Action. Bahraini Shia suffer from discrimination in public sector employment in Bahrain. Such discrimination is most concerning in the Ministry of Interior and Military Forces. Shia are not represented in the upper level of leadership in the Bahraini security forces and military. Subsequently, these forces are often implicated in human rights abuses, targeting Shia protesters, political and HRD, religious figures and places of worship. Bahrain continued to target many leading Shia spiritual leaders with harassment and detention, including Sheikh Mohammed Habib al Maqdad, Sheikh Abdul Jalil al Maqdad, and Sheikh Mohammed Ali al Mahfoud. Particularly concerning was the case of Sheikh Hussein Najati, whose Bahraini citizenship was arbitrarily revoked in 2012. Continued abuses against him were highlighted earlier this year by UN Special Rapporteur on Freedom of Religion who expressed his concern that on 23rd of April, Sheikh Hussein Najati was forced to leave his own country for Lebanon after being exposed for animal pressure and harassment by the authorities. The Bahrain government has repeatedly demonstrated a pattern of religious intolerance and discrimination towards the Shia majority population in Bahrain. We therefore call on the government of Bahrain to facilitate a country visit by the Special Rapporteur of Religious Freedom to conduct a neutral and independent assessment in the country at the earliest possible date. We further call on the government of Bahrain to fulfill its commitment to the recommendation of BK and UPR reports regarding safeguards against discrimination for followers of all faiths. Thank you.